Hello everyone. So I hope you have already gone through my previous video in which I have talked about boost factor and for offers. So in this video, we will talk about segment engine. So what is segment engine? If we go by definition, segment engine allows to build conditions that get resolved into a Boolean values. So uh, because you have already seen so many videos of personalization, so you already know that where all the conditions we put, we put all our conditions in audience. So I have already created few audience in front of you like Chrome users, Firefox users and uh, some Malaysian users. So if you go in this console, you are able to see so many components here. Let the page load first. So you will able to see so many components under context hub segmentation group by default available. So let's understand what each and every component do or how it works. So first is comparison property value. This is the most commonly used uh, component and I think 90% we only use this particular component. So this is my, uh, uh, sorry, this is my comparison property value component. Here we compare the value of a property to a value, uh, value of a property. So if a value, I mean, if the condition get resolved, then your segment is active. So first we talk about property. So we have already uh, talked about the stores available. So if you want to target something, uh, if you want to target maybe this particular property, so how you're gonna target? You follow the hierarchy, uh, geolocation, slash address details of slash longitude. If you want to target latitude, you put latitude here. So this is how you target a property equal to and then value. So you can provide a value here. And if so data type I put as auto detect. So if so sorry, I put Chrome also here. See this condition is true and the segment get resolved. So next is a comparison property script reference. This is a big one. So we will go for next one first. So comparison segment reference. So how this comparison segment reference work? I think out of the box, Vdetail has really given good example of this. So let's take you there and understand what is the purpose of segment reference. So under Vdetail. So under Vdetail, you have already seen that like they have created some segments like male, summer female then uh, male oh, sorry so older than 30 something like that now if they want to make a condition like summer female over 30 so they in place of again putting conditions what is the best way sorry so we have already created summer segment female segment and over 30 segment so how now what you can do, you can refer to segments from here. So this is the segment path. So if I, if you want to refer a segment, I mean, no need to again create a new particular condition. So if summer is true, female is true, over 30 is true. Let me delete this. So if these of three conditions will be true, then this segment will be resolved. Right now you can see only one condition is true. So uh, segment reference is you don't need to again put conditions because if in one segment you are checking so many things. So if you have already created uh, created the segments individually, you don't need to create the conditions again. You can just directly refer to the segment and it will work. Next is container and and or. This is sometimes get confusing. So let's understand this also. So when you create a new segment, there is one and which is by default. So I think you just need to ignore this and and then you can make a container and then if you want to put two conditions so you can make one condition like this and maybe if you want to compare two values like uh, i want to compare surfer info sorry, browser family then i put here chrome so these two conditions need to so just ignore this previous one and now these two conditions need to get satisfied to make an and operator if you want to make an or operator just delete this just ignore the previous one add one or container and add two values here so one value maybe and this so if one of this condition will 
true then also the segment get resolved let's try this out so info slash browser slash family and here i put chrome uh, i put equal now copy this first delete this and then again copy this then i put firefox here so if one of the condition is also then also this segment because you see right now this segment is getting resolved so if one of this condition will get resolved then also this segment get resolved this is how container and and all work so the top level of definition is always and container and you can create your conditions under it next is comparison property property if you understand these three definitions they looks like they're very simple so property property means if you compare two properties comparison property segment reference means if you compare one property with one script reference and if you uh, compare one property with segment reference but i really don't understand the real use case of these three component because why we uh, I mean, what is the use case if we compare two properties? What is the use case if we compare one property with segment reference? Because segment reference will always give true and false. And I don't know what is the uh, benefit. So I'm just ignoring these three. I've already put definitions here, but I think they are never ever going to be used. So the next, the last one is uh, comparison property script reference. So sometimes there are the conditions which cannot be created like equal to, greater than, equal to, uh, then. Let's talk about one scenario. I already talked about. So uh, here, uh, I, I was having one scenario that when I'm coming from Facebook, so I'm coming from Facebook to my particular website. So I capture that particular date of uh, coming from Facebook to my website and then personalize the content for four days. So maybe if a user come to my website, maybe on 1 December, uh, he, he come from Facebook to my website. So I will check the referral. Oh, if this is a Facebook, then I will save the date as 1 December. And then till four days, 1, 2, 3, 4, I will show the personalized content and fifth day, I, I won't resolve with this particular segment. So how this condition gonna be work, how this thing works. So always uh, when you provide your own JS, if you want to provide your own script, then you need to uh, uh, make a client library name with name context hub dot segment hyphen engine don't script. Uh, this is the category. Now you can make a function that returns a value. So value will be always true or false. So you can compare all these values. This is one out of the box script you can write your own script uh, the second thing if if you are comparing some stores values so always need to write this this dot depends on so that's why this script will only load when you will have these values so it will return true and false now this is very important thing register function so here whatever name you give right now you have given test script here so with this name you will see the drop down here so let's see this uh, if you drag and drop this particular script reference so no i don't want this mm, script reference purely script reference so if you check here test script then if this condition gets true, then this segment will resolve. So this is how this script work. Uh, you, if you want to see the, my script gets loaded and here you need to go to this particular path. And if in this path you are able to see, you can directly copy this part to your browser and check if your JS is getting loaded. I want to show you from, from where I am loading this particular JS right now. So. There is this. So right now they there is one JS they have given us for a sample JS and this is here. If you see in your AM, so they have not made an entry here. That's why if you directly drag and drop this component, sorry, if you directly drag and drop this component, you won't ever ever able to see this test script in the drop down. So if you want to check this with test script in the JS.txt, you need to uh, add this particular script and then. Uh, this script will load and if this script return true 
then uh, the segment will get resolved if this uh, this uh, script will return false then the segment won't get resolved you can take one more uh, thing here like this comparison property script reference so what i understand is if if your script in place uh, in place of on sorry in case of only script reference script need to return true and false because segment resolving decision is completely on script return type but in case of this comparison property script reference so if one property value is equal to what script return so maybe script is returning something like chrome browser so if i compare it with surfer info slash browser slash family and then i compare it with the script reference so if these two get true then the then your segment will get resolved but i really don't see a real time i mean i've never gone through a, a use case when we really need this so this is about these particular components if you really need it you can use it so now last point is testing the application of a segment so i think we never talk about it so let's talk about it a bit so you may have thinking about like if i have created so many segments what is the way i can check it on the same console because if i have created uh, something like malaysian users indian users chinese users obviously all the users are not sitting here so will i call a malay indian user and say oh please test this particular of obviously not so how to test this so go to the preview mode and then this is one console through which you can test your things you can also check how many segments are getting resolved so right now two segments are getting resolved chrome user and malaysian user so you can see there are so many options here you can go change so if if uh, there is one for malaysian user so why can i can i can change it from here if i click here then only one segment is resolved because i updated the value from this console so if i change something here the value will be updated in my store so only one segment here so uh, i think you understand so this is a console to which you can directly test here if there is a chinese customer and i am resolving some segment on the basis of that i are chinese and see the updated content here so this is how this particular console works and it is very important for testing the particular segments because obviously we cannot be in all the conditions like maybe you have created some segments for chrome firefox safari maybe my windows system don't have safari so what should i do i should go to this particular console i can update the values from here you can see all the consoles are here you can update the value directly from here and you can see the updated things I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.